Christmas new notes on the board. Isn't it exciting? Oh, <laughs> exciting! <laughs> we are rolling. Awesome. Begin transmission. Hello. Hello. <laughs> if anybody of our Twitter followers uh, is watching this, then damn you, Campitelli! <laughs> I stayed up. I finished your book, but I stayed up like until five or so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that's not why we're here today. Uh, we wanted to work on. We wanted to warm up working on short stories mm -hmm. and today I am not going to touch the folder that says needs proper shitload of work we I'm not going to touch the folder that says need minimal tinkering the one that needs structural work and developing Nox, you wanna give a little briefing about this story that we are working on? Um, okay, this story is about one of our characters, Destiny, and uh, this was originally meant to be included in Taking Flight. Um, she's one of the characters who's involved in that larger story. Um, and this is sort of like the first time we meet Destiny, is when she's uh, a young woman, she's... Uh, running well she's on her trial she's on her sort of i don't want to say coming of age trial um let's say initiation yeah let's that, say that initiation. is a good blanket term <laughs> yeah uh so we are following her on her trial through or through her uh, we're following her on her initiation through the uh the jungles of raic and uh say again so Brake is a place. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically what the gist of this story is. We're following her uh, through her initiation. Uh, she will be put through some uh, physical and mental uh, hurdles. And when she comes out of the other side, certain things uh, that are tacked onto her uh, biology will kick in. That's, I think <laughs> that's that, that's that's a way of discussing it. And uh, de uh, Destiny is one of your old characters, right? Yeah, one I of the original. Well, Co Corey, I think, is always going to be the earliest carrier character. But I think when we moved over to our own universe, as it were, and reclaimers became a thing, uh, she she was the earliest reclaimer. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, I have not taken part in any in any roleplay storylines where she was an active character. So for me, it's the old times. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we don't. I don't. I think I had some regarding the forum. I think I had some um, other plans for destiny and and chaos and. Uh, and they were off doing their own thing while everything with Corey and Smith and all that was going on. And I think I brought Mariah in as a Destiny analog, but oh. she became her own character very quickly. Like she flourished in Mariah flourished into her own thing and became her own character really quickly, which was which was better. I mean, yeah, I should I. I you, <laughs> I shouldn't have tried to mirror another character. <laughs> That's bad. That's you bad do practice. That. Yeah, if if I wanted to, I could have easily justified bringing Destiny into the Deja Vu storyline like that. Do you know what I mean? Like there would have been no problems. Mm. But um, instead, having having done it with Mariah, um, she became her own character, which was cool. I think I dodged a bullet there. But I wouldn't recommend doing it again. <laughs> not a good tactic. Not good practice. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I got off track there a little bit. Yeah. Tangent! <laughs> <laughs> uh, this uh, story 
we, why, why we're work, working on it right now is that we are trying to sort several short stories into a consumer friendly state so that we can put together a collection and I think at this point we have a, agreed upon a theme that uh, this collection will feature the first encounters with several characters. So those particular stories uh, might actually end up as part of another book, but in this collection they won't be the uh, they they won't be uh, part of a bigger story. They will just be character introductions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's get to work. What we're doing right now is we have a buttload of old text. Uh, Nox has had the text for this story uh, for I think for a few years. I have at some point I started picking it apart, and then recently we ha we have agreed to do the demolish and rebuild approach here. So basically, we have been. Uh, outlining based on what's there and now we uh, might start going into each scene and do a more detailed uh, mm, I would uh, I mean I wouldn't say outlining but more like uh, getting getting some finer details down within a scene just going through and highlighting all the old stuff real quick. Making sure, like the uh, original text. Yeah, because none of none of the original text will survive. Uh, no. Nope. That much we know already. It's the this is something we have learned uh, with a few few years that when I try to come and copy edit what's there. It's gonna take enormous effort, and the and the result is not worth it. It's easier to uh, analyze what's there, determine what what it's trying to achieve, and then come up with better stuff to achieve the same thing. This is all old text as well, isn't it? Should I highlight this? Uh, whatever you feel is right. Okay. Maybe let's uh, go over each scene for a second and give like a synopsis what's happening. Okay. Did you want to do it or shall I? Uh, you do it and then I will comment. Okay, um, so getting straight into it, uh, scene one, I'm just going to read what's here. Uh, uh, maybe don't read because it's on the screen. Okay. Just, mm. just uh, <laughs> describe what you mean to achieve with scene one, etc. Like, uh, <laughs> this tangent ahead, this reminds me, when I was working at school, uh, we would use, uh, we, we had all sorts of uh, presentation tools in our disposal and uh, uh, I had this uh, mm, I think it was like six seventh grade students a very small group and uh, I had made this uh, material about uh, ancient American cultures and I was showing some pictures to them and I had also put the stuff that I was uh, speaking about on screen so basically the same things that I said were also on screen and the children immediately called me out and said uh. You know, my dad says that when you're doing a presentation then you shouldn't just read your notes <laughs> <laughs> I tried to say like, no, 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 no um, I just I just duplicate what I what I intend to say anyway but they didn't buy it <laughs> And neither will I Okay So don't, don't read what's shown on the screen anyway uh, Explain and discuss Okay, well this is basically like the intro to the story. Uh, we, um, I guess we see sort of like a long shot view of Destiny uh, and the environment that she's in. 
and this is where we sort of explain that environment and and discuss destiny further and why she's what she's doing mm, no no not feeling no, it no uh we are not discussing her further like uh the first uh i disagree uh, okay. the first scene uh establishes where we are and what we're looking at but uh, uh, this is not where I do, where I would want to go into long discussion about who are reclaimers and and etc. We should discover that over the course of the story. So right now, uh, what we have in the original material is exposition upon exposition upon exposition, explanation mm -hmm. about stuff, uh, more more explanation and and such. So we need to take all that out and give all that info that we want to give through what she's doing, what she's seeing, what she's uh, experiencing. So none of, none of the further discussion what she's about. This uh, has to come out through what she's doing. Alright. So it's more like when we get to the obstacles, uh, when we get to the part that yes we are in this world this uh, strange girl uh, is for some reason running through the jungle uh, it is uh, it is humid it is hot it is uh, un unpleasant why sh why is she here uh, what is she trying to achieve oh she's trying to get to a clearing okay well we are getting to a clearing oh no animals mm-hmm I think that's a pretty good summary. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when we get to the uh, when we get to the part where she's facing some obstacles, uh, we get the chance to uh, describe some of the wildlife, mm -hmm. uh, which I will scroll over. I don't. I do not want to go into detail with this right now because outline. Uh, and I will also glide over scene three. So all of this, we need to sort that out uh, in a different way. But what I want to get to is that after we have observed uh, this strange girl running in a jungle, uh, we will switch uh, viewpoints and we will find out that there are people uh, watching so this this place, even though it looks wild, is actually uh, thoroughly monitored. Oh, this reminds me of an idea. Uh, the people who are doing the monitoring from orbit, uh, the on-ground hardware that they're using could be something similar to the uh, to the mini drones that the scribe was using in the scribe and the doctor story let me just make a note of this real quick yeah so mini mini drones or mini bugs or, or such So we will we will learn that uh, this sort of practice uh, of running through a bunch of challenges in this uh, planet that uh, might not be suitable for uh, for constant uh, habitation or anything, or that is not human optimal, but uh, it is some sort of it has some patches of. Uh, uh, it has some locations where humans can survive and, and, and they have set up some ceremonial doodads there. What was it? What was my point? What did I start to talk about? Oh, the observers. So basically, we will get to the idea that uh, this place 
in this planet is a uh, is a place of some significance for the for these people and uh, it is customary to send the young to do their awakening or, or uh, their thing there Initi quote unquote initiation yeah and mm. uh, and it is also it, it is meant to be a uh, very straining experience it is meant to uh, get them into a like they they need to go through uh, extreme uh, mental and physical stress so that certain things in them would activate and uh, I think the earlier version of the story had it so that uh, there there was there was more of unexplained and mystical element and I've I've tried to uh, instead uh, tie in those experiences with uh, uh, with somewhat <laughs> reality not not reality based but somewhat reality related uh, biological stuff. And that, and in my opinion, that comes out better than the woo-woo, unexplained stuff. Like, I mean, uh, for for the in-universe people, it can still stay unexplained and woo-woo. But mm -hmm. we shall we shall know that there are there are some actual biological triggers behind some stuff. And even though, uh, at the same time, we will tie in those biological triggers to the in-universe. Uh, uh, some hand wavy things, so we will tie them in with certain hand wavy, uh, with certain made up uh, technologies and made up uh, uh, reality, how reality works things. But uh, but overall, uh, it does tie in to in universe uh, real things. Yeah, and and, uh, and just like that, the screen reads uh, "woo woo experience." Not sure. <laughs> so we shall be switching back and forth between uh, the main character and the quote unquote observers, and the observers uh, are watching with 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 a keen eye whether she will survive, whether she will prevail. Uh, and in doing so, we shall follow her through some caves, through some hallucinations. I will look forward to putting together a sort of uh, messed up mind sequence <laughs> for this. <laughs> and in the end, uh, spoilers, uh, she will make it. The stuff in her will activate uh, there will be visible markings to uh, to show that it has activated uh, etc okay uh, you wanna for uh, I, I think th this is this is a terrible, as, as far as uh, work session uh, footage goes, right now this here is a terrible episode because we have been extremely vague, we have not shown any actual work, uh, but bear with us, it's the beginning of the year and we're just only <laughs> trying to get things going. Also the, the text is on the screen, so even though none of this text will survive, uh, it might give some idea what's what's happening. Uh, Nux, do you want to add any comments? Ideas? I don't really think I've got anything to add. It's just that um, it's early stages right now with this story. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's early stages for what we're doing with mm -hmm. it now. It's been around for a while, but now we're, we're and it needs a, a lot of work. And I think breaking it down into easy bite-sized chunks mm -hmm. is the easiest way to deal with this. So that's all yeah, I got. Yeah. So right now it looks like a horrible huge chunk of walls and walls of text that we can't uh, 
uh, f get our teeth into but after a few sessions like this which might or might not uh, be captured uh, we will have broken down uh, some goals uh, on a scene basis and for a proof and affirmation that we actually can do that uh, uh, I recommend watching our work sessions on the short story called Scribe and Doctor in uh, our YouTube channel where we where we start off exactly with uh, with a big blob of text like this then we pick it apart well, we divide it into scenes we divide the scenes into steps or, or, or goals uh, we pull from the material what's there uh, and from that generate uh, uh, at first notes and then uh, text fragments and then text so <laughs> it, it has worked before it will have to work now <laughs> eventually <laughs> it's, a <clears throat> it's a very methodical process I feel it just it works for me so okay I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I think uh, for today's uh, witnessed work session, I will wrap it up because uh, I think adding more vague information won't uh, won't make for a better story. So let's wrap What's it up. What's happened here is it's the beginning of the year and also we're deliberately being quite vague about this story uh, and the two of them combined are like, ah, uh, this, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm in an R in. So, yeah. All right. You thank just, you very much for yeah, watching. You just have to wait, wait, it, wait until the story is done and then you can read it and then you can see that, oh, it's, it, it may be turned out all right. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank you for staying with us uh, in this very kind of woo woo why be <laughs> sleepy episode and uh, happy new year happy new year <laughs> bye